let nobody tell you you can't do this, you can't do that because of a certain situation. Just playing ball, just out here doing what I love, no pressure. He's been our best player since he's been here as a freshman. They recorded two triple doubles, one against Leon and one against Lincoln, which are six and seven, eight schools. I'm not trying to brag, but I can pretty much score at will. I think he's the best player in Tallahassee. Playing pickup or even playing the game, or is really if you see him in practice, he's 100% he's every time. And that's one thing about him, he's, he's just a normal kid. He's never done anything else but that one arm. since he was a little child before he even started in recreation. Uh, when he started here with Rick, he kind of blew us away because Landis was doing things that was uncommon for a person that had uh, all of their limbs, let alone someone that had a deficiency in one of his limbs. So he, he was kind of blowing us away and we were thinking, okay, this this is not going to last long. Actually, you know, to be factual with you, we didn't think that it would last as long as it did. So everybody was coming to me telling me that he couldn't be beaten one-on-ones. So I was like, man, that's uh, like he hasn't played me yet. But I got my chance to play him. Couldn't even score a point on him. Confident, uh, hard worker, uh, leader, just a smart kid. Knows what he wants and doesn't have anything holding him back from getting there. Don't go, people. Great people. Even broke me a couple times. Yeah, I, I want to tell him that, man. Yeah, he had great, uh -huh. yeah, great hops. He did a great deal. He had the ability that he had. People say, you know, the one arm thing, he's still unstoppable. Like, he can go behind his back, between his legs. His jump shot is amazing. He can dunk. You know, he's so athletic. Yeah, um, he's just, he just good at what he do. This senior Seminole basketball star from Quincy, Florida, is not only good at what he does, he's known to be a great role model. It all started with his parents being role models, which made him an academic scholar. Oh yeah, he's a good student. He's a good student now. I think he's, he has his head on straight because he knows that we're not going to tolerate that, you know, any kind of mess because, you know, I'm in law enforcement, his mother is in law enforcement. And he knows that uh, you know academics come first, academics and then basketball. Florida High was an educational option more so than a basketball option. If it was up to Landis, he would have stayed in the county and played with his peers because those are guys he grew up with. Those are guys that, like we are here now, played his first um, midget league with or played his first middle school league with. So it was definitely his desire, but, but as a parent, um, striving um, to be uh, to be successful, um, not just for myself, but most of all, importantly, for Landis. Um, I knew that education was a must. So therefore, that trip to Tallahassee, 30 miles away, wasn't an easy decision, but it was easy when I compared and contrast what I wanted in life for him versus um, his friends and family's concerns. Last nice move by his mother, placing Landis in one of the best high schools in the nation, has some of the best colleges in the nation knocking on his door. From Florida State to Marquette, FAU to Western Kentucky, the young team from Quincy enters his senior year with great educational options. But Landis says he would never forget when he picked up his first basketball. This is where it all started. I grew up playing here. Uh, my godmom, she was a principal at my elementary, elementary school, and she got me started up on her team. That's where it all started at. So I found myself, found that I was really good. That's where I got people supporting me and stuff. Yeah, that's where it all started. Now Landis believes he's really good because of his faith in Christ. Now he has a lot of faith in his defense and in his jump shot. Similarly, his mother says faith is all she had to lean on while raising her kids. Most of my life I've attended um, Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church. Um, being young when I had Landis and, and 
I was aware of spirituality, but I think it was me having him that actually took my spirituality to another level because nobody could help me understand. There was no books that I could read to make me understand how at such a young age I was forced to have to deal with um, such a challenging um, um, experience in a sense. And it was through my faith. Oh wow, man, it's kids out here. Now when Landis was a kid out here, he played at Joseph L. Ferralito Jr. Recreation Center. The director of Quincy's Recreation Center says although Landis played with nerve damage in his right hand, he came equipped with something most kids don't come with. But Landis had something uh, that, that most of us don't have, don't, don't have. He had a particular drive that went beyond what most kids have. But most kids didn't have nerve damage in their hands. The ones that do usually aren't known for being the best players in the city. Having Landis, the pregnancy, the entire pregnancy was, was great. I had no complications whatsoever. Um, the complications didn't transpire until actual labor. Um, and we determined, or the doctors determined at a late stage in my labor that I was close built. Um, and that there was no real chance of him exiting um, naturally without any serious, serious complications. And that was when they determined to um, use forceps as well as a vacuum extraction, which is what it was called to help assist the shoulders and emerging because he, he had very broad shoulders. vacuum extraction Ms. Anderson is referring to is a medical instrument made up of plastic and stainless steel. The vacuum extraction looks like a mushroom shaped cup with a handle for traction. According to John P. O'Grady, the author of Medscape Reference, the majority of injuries are to the fetal scalp. This instrument wasn't entirely free of risk for Landis or his mother. Although the reported incidence of severe injury from vacuum extraction is low, Landis was born with his right hand suffering severe nerve damage. God takes a deficiency and he allows you to be developed more in other areas than you are with that deficiency. So he makes up the difference. And that's what happened with Landis. He, 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 he had it, what was to us a deficiency, but with him, I think it was more of an asset because it gave him a greater drive. A greater drive indeed. And for Landis, the drive he's talking about has landed him some great educational opportunities after he finishes high school. That drive has him confident he will be successful on the next level, wherever he plays. Every basketball player's dream is to make it to the NBA. Yeah, so I want to do that. Uh, I just want to be successful in life, whatever I do. And right now, basketball is what I'm doing. So I'm trying to be successful in that. I'm not trying to be poor and I'm trying to make sure I'm, you know, I'm set off, I'm well set off, have money. You know? The 17 year old basketball player has dreams to play in the NBA. Like LeBron James, Landis wouldn't mind taking his talents to South Beach. Definitely Miami because that's my team right now. So, yeah, I would love to get picked up by Miami. An NBA dream can be conquered by having faith. Landis wants the best for his family and has faith he will be able to provide for them in the future. It's not funny, but I look back on it now and I can, I can see how God was with us the entire time because at, at a young age, Landis would ask spiritual questions that forced me to seek answers that I didn't know. And it was through pastors, um, through friends, um, through different ministries that I was able to gain those answers and, and also Bible study. Um, and again, this was based on that faith and that belief that, that we were going to be okay. And now looking back on it, it was it was the way to be. It was the way to be and I wasn't to question it even though I didn't understand. And now I have a better understanding or um, better 
spiritual belief in a sense um, um, when it comes to the circumference as far as life is concerned. And without faith, um, I don't think we'll be here. Faith displayed by Landis's mother has rubbed off on Landis. He believes he can do anything, even his little sister supports him. Although Landis plays basketball every day, he still finds time to chill with his baby sister. It makes me happy because I get to spend time with like an almost pro basketball player, and it's good that he gets interviewed, and I really love it because it can make it makes me and my mom proud. According to Greg Taylor, the whole city of Quincy is proud of Landis. He's become quite a role model. I look back at his upbringing and, 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 and what his mother in particular instilled in him. She instilled those values in him and she instilled that character in him. And uh, he has made us here in Gaston County and Quincy proud to say that he is a product from here. And uh, we're very proud of him. That's on the court and off the court. As far as the classroom is concerned, he's just dedicated and committed in the classroom, and that's what his mother, his mother gives him that drive, and she, she, she demands that of him. She does not demand any uh, special uh, treatments from anybody for him. She's always told us, don't give Landis no special treatments. Don't treat him as if he's special. Treat him just as if he's one of the other kids. And again, we, we just were proud to say Landis is from Quincy, Florida and the Gaston County area. His mother says there wasn't any manuals out there to show her how to raise a child born with nerve damage in his right hand. So she relied on people of faith. First and foremost, I raised Landis um, from the best that I knew how. And there's no books, there's no norm. Um, what we experienced was our own normal. We created it. It was either to be good um, or it was to be great. And I think um, from day one, I just kind of embraced his condition and vowed that he would be the best he that he could be. Um, and that was from the person himself, academics, as well as any after, um, um, athletics that he chose to be a part of. Landis chose to be part of the culture of basketball when he got into Florida High. Now we're talking about a player that entered Florida High as a freshman and started on the varsity team. Now the head coach for the Baby Seminole says he's never seen a player like this. Well, the first time we saw him as a freshman over here, and uh, we had heard about him from a, one of our maintenance guys coached him in Little League football and Quincy told us about it. We didn't know anything about it. Then he showed up here, got in school as a freshman, and he's probably 6'2", and he came out for basketball, and we watched him play in PE class. He moved pretty good, but we didn't know if he could really, you know, how good he could play. And he came out and played, and he ended up starting for us. And we realized that his handicap really wasn't a handicap. It was just that he, he had adjusted to it, been that way all his life, so he could, he could handle it handle the ball, shoot, get a shot off. He's, he's progressed quite a bit since then. Landis believes his faith is the reason he's progressed on the court and off the court. God is definitely the reason I am where I am now. Yeah, I thank him for everything. I praise him. I'm blessed. He blessed me with what I have, and I'm, I'm thankful for that.